what's going on everyone so how did you spend your Friday night yeah well I know that I spent my Friday night with a group of friends and some family members going to see Annabelle creation the prequel to all the Annabelle movies and in the conjuring universe James Wan I give him so much credit he is a phenomenal producer director writer he is creating a universe bigger than anything I've seen growing up in horror and thriller aspects of films. Not to mention his sidekick, who I love. Let me get his name here so I'm saying it right. David Sandberg. This guy literally created something on YouTube and is now in big time with Hollywood. Lights out. I remember a film uh, producer buddy of mine showing me in college Lights Out on YouTube, like the three minute video, and then it became this world phenomenon. Lights Out hit theaters. Now he's behind, you know, uh, with James Wan in the Conjuring universe. These two guys are going to go very far. Not to mention, they are creating just content that we haven't seen before. And that's what we've needed in today's day and age with, with horror and thriller and the supernatural. Diving into things that just, yeah. Then I'm also researching Gary Dunberman was the screenwriter. This, the screenplay for Annabelle Creation just so many avenues it's opened the door for in my eyes then i read that he is part of the writing team for it yes the stephen king film coming out next month okay now like let's just say these three guys now are on my top list the screenplay for annabelle creation without giving spoilers away you won't look at, let's put it this way, a scarecrow the same way again. The Sarn, You Are My Sunshine. Or for that matter, Raggedy Ann and Andy, the dolls. Yes, that's all I'm going to say. You got to go see this film. If you haven't already seen this film, you're losing out big time. Let's put it this way. I went with a group of people and two of them literally couldn't watch the film. They were hiding, closing their eyes, screaming. Embarrassing me, of course. I'll, I have to be honest. I didn't think it was that scary. I jumped a few times. The one scene, definitely, because, you know, it's powerful. Uh, the camera angles, the CGI, the music. The Conjuring Universe has some of the best um, composers out there for the, the eerie, you know, non-digetic and digetic music. The acting wasn't the best. I will say, you know, some of the things I didn't like, the acting wasn't the best, could have been enhanced more, these characters. Uh, Anthony LaPaglia, I remember him from Without a Trace on CBS. I used to watch that growing up. He had, I would say, one of the, the greater roles. And uh, I did like the nun. I did like the priest, of course, being Catholic, you know. And uh, the main lead... She, she did a good job. She, and the other girl, I can't forget her name. Or I forget her name. She was in Ouija. That just came out recently, last year. Yeah. This girl, uh, there's something about her eyes. No wonder they cast her for these, you know, these, these, uh, these horror and thriller films. <laughs> but without giving spoilers away, this movie obviously being a prequel you're starting to understand the whole conjuring and annabelle universe and something that i always love in television and film is the backstory the the origins how something originated and how it became what it is that's why i like a prequel all right hands down i'm giving this movie a nine out of ten because the screenplay met the storyline and the plots and the characters not to mention, 
as a Catholic, you know, we believe in all this. Where they incorporated this into the film. We needed to see it. And thank God for not saying the name out loud. We all know what that happened. We all know what happens. But, you know, the tools, the crucifix, the rosary beads, the holy water. You know, I was sitting with a bunch of Catholics and we were sitting there saying, you know, this is real. We believe it in that. But to incorporate it in this film, there was so much Christianity and religion in this film. And I think that's another reason why I enjoyed it so much. So if you haven't seen it, definitely go see it. If you have seen it, start commenting on, with your thoughts, what you think, good, you know, bad, what, what you didn't like, what you liked. If you're into these types of films, there will be plenty more. Subscribe to the channel, please, I implore you. Share the video on all social media platforms, if you may. Like the video. Tell your friends about it. Definitely get out there and see it this week if you haven't already. If you have, get commenting. I'm very impressed. I enjoy the franchise of The Conjuring Universe, and like I said before in the beginning, James Wan, he's going places. All three of these guys are. And that's what I look for. The music, too. The music is just so eerie. And just the way these camera angles, you know, some of the scenes, without trying to give them away, just, they were startling. But I would say I kind of laughed at some of them, too. Because the thing that scares me is this stuff's real. Not not watching it, you know, in, in the theater. As for other people that I was sitting with, yeah, that was a little embarrassing. But So, yeah. Uh, I'm looking at my schedule here. Like I said, it's all for you guys. Uh, thank you again for the love and the support. Thank you for watching my videos, commenting, um, liking, subscribing to the channel. You know, liking them. And recommend recommending them. I've had a few people that have been commenting me via Twitter and uh, on my channel. So thank you. There's more to come. As of right now, the next film I would say will be It by Stephen King. And I loved the trailer, of course, before the, the film. As for television, I'm working on something bigger for the fall. I was actually talking to a friend of mine today that I had a, a lunch meeting with. Uh, she works at a radio station. She's helped me with my channel so far. So, more is coming, guys. More is coming. So, thank you for watching this video. Thank you again for the love and the support. It's all for you guys. Start sharing your thoughts below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Like the video. And if you go see this film, will you sleep well after seeing it? That's the big question. Because they tackle things that you haven't seen coming yet. And as a Catholic... Yeah, I uh, bless myself uh, coming out. <laughs> Thanks again. Have a good weekend. We'll see you around. Maybe a little surprise video. Mm -hmm.